on the last video. Oh, I'm an idiot. No, Fly definitely has the brooch. It just is really hard to see on her armor. Well, my apologies, Fly. I didn't mean to call you an idiot or whatever else, or whatever awful things that I called you and made fun of you for. Turns out I'm the fool. The adventure continues. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Lobotomy Corporation. My apologies, It's uh, it's been a little while since I've played this game, and, well, I'm not going to go straight directly into full-on details as to why, but I've just been very dissociated from reality as of recently, and I don't exactly know 100% what uh, the problem is with all of it. To be perfectly honest with you, but it'll pass eventually, hopefully. Who knows? We'll find out. Stay tuned. But yeah, that, that's been most of it. I don't really like doing recordings when I'm not quite in the mood to be able to commentate and do it properly. I feel like you guys deserve the best of the best when it comes to the shit that comes out of my mouth. We're going to put Izzy over here. That's what we're going to do. So one of the first things that I would like to do today is I want to get this Ego weapon for the same beast. And I know exactly how we are going to do it. Somebody had informed me that that is indeed a thing that we can do. Which is pretty sick. What am I going to give you for a weapon, Damn it, Izzy? Uh, I guess a pike, sure. So we should definitely have enough people to be able to beat it up, and I think the only problem with this bird is that it blinds you when you... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is. It blinds you. So, yeah. The people that combat it are definitely going to have to uh, deal with that. I also need to get this headpiece off of Heather this run. And I think that's about it. I might as well bring Kodo down there. And Izzy. Just for the added support from the staves. I think I'm thinking a little too hard on this. Ah, oh, damn it. Izzy's only got a spear. That's right. Fuck. The rest of them have spears, so... I mean, I don't think it's going to be super detrimental having a couple of melees in there, but I'd prefer more than 50 health on my melees, hence the reasoning why I have these people all doing the thing that they do. And then I think that is everybody, so there we go. So this is going to be our strike team. Too much, perhaps? We'll find out. Now I need to find out who's going into the room. I could have... Who, what, what is the best instinct? So it's for health, eh? I could go in there and get a little bit added health. Buttercup does need health, too. Because I know that butter... Yeah, fuck it. Buttercup, you're going to... Uh, but you have low health, too, so... Uh, don't screw the pooch on this one, girl. Alright, cool. I pooped a little. That winds up being a bad result, though. I think we absolutely can lose Buttercup. So aside from getting the Ego weapons from Fiery Bird, the other goal today is to obviously get to Day 21. Now, I don't know if this is all going to be in one episode or not, but... Oh, no. Oh, no! I'm just kidding. I knew she'd be fine. Well, I didn't know, but I, I figured that she'd probably be good. Okay, this might be the one right here. Cliff Auth 1.
Oh, the damage intensifies as it gets lower, right? Oh, shit. All right, well, I'm going to not send her in then for the later rounds. Yeah, there it is. Buttercup got healed. No, we're good. We're good. We are gooch. I thought he was going to escape right then and there. Alright, so who has high success? There we go. Okay, so... There it is. Oh, Jesus, X, you're already taking a lot of damage. That's because if you're 1.2. So here's the real thing. Let's see how much damage they do to it and how much damage everybody else receives from the bird. Yeah, that's way too much. That's way too much damage. I don't like it. Way too much damage. Yeah, that's exactly what was expected. Well, that didn't happen. So he also flew through everybody right there. So that ain't gonna happen. I know the weapon kind of sucks, to be perfectly honest with you, so I might not do this one for a little while. There, now we have some decent spread going on around these parts. I'm gonna have Heather continually work with this guy. While Chelsea goes in here, mayhaps, because I know that that's a Vav. I don't think there are any people that are prepared for working with a Vav right now. Actually, Buttercup, you should be good. Yeah, because it does white damage. I'm going to swap Buttercup with you. And now I think, weirdly enough, it's either attachment or, de or depression, yes. Or depression work. One of those two does really well. You gotta remember to send her into Insight, because if she does attachment, she'll die. Hmm. And it also says that repression work is a common. I should send you in for the repression. And then who's going to claim their pendant today? Hmm. You know what? Uh, X is probably going to wind up being the commander of some team, so... Let's work on your attachment today, buddy. Alright, cool, and Heather is good to go now. We need more he-class abnormalities that isn't the fucking scarecrow. That's what we need. Because we're starting to get a lot of Vavs, which are great for leveling up and all, but the problem is they're Vavs, so they're pretty difficult to send base level 3 stack employees into the room and get decent results. And, you know, not, not piss them off. This is luckily an easy one to deal with, but even still, this one does quite a bit of white damage, so I mean... Not the ideal thing I would send somebody in with 50 attachments and work success, you know what I mean? They might still be able to survive it, but I'm not sure that I'm willing to fucking risk that. 
So SP rather than HP on the mouth gift switch. Honestly, doesn't really matter that much. Really doesn't matter that much, but I'm going to make it so that that ecstasy thing is not seeable anymore, because... Not gonna lie, it's kind of ugly. And X has his pendant. Perfect. So X is good to go now. Uh, next person to get their pendant. Uh, Buttercup doesn't have one, actually. This would be a perfect time to get Buttercup's fortitude up. Fly, you're gonna relocate downstairs. Eric, just go somewhere. Heather, you're going over here. X, anywhere. Literally anywhere. You and Georgia are off to the side, and now I don't think any of the main rooms are now occupied. Perfect, so we can continue until noon. Alright, and there we go. Meltdown 9. Let's see where everybody's stats are. Perfect, so you are in the 90s for both Temperance and Justice, which is what my goal was. HP is going to definitely stay there. Fly is definitely really well-rounded now. Uh, Heather got a little bit of prudence from one bro. You're not a Fortitude 5 yet, which is fine. But we are over 100 in both of these stats, so the goal has been met. And then X got a lot more uh, Temperance, so there we go. Okay, I see that this is Aleph territory here. Well, I don't want either. I do need Mountain of Smiling Bodies, though. See, this kind of blows, though, now, because this is the perfect time to get the second set of gear from the Mountain of Smiling Bodies. The problem, however, the big problem with this, is now it basically means that I need to reset that hour of work that I just did to get stats up, which, all in all, that is a very small price to pay. But it still kind of blows when you work on employees and you want to reset it. Tail say the moon bewitch, but in reality man despairs at the moon. So we could do that. We could do that. Decisions, decisions, because we do need that other A-lift set, no matter what way that we look at it here. We're going to work with it. You feel like I wasted my time working on stats, but... And I don't know if that's going to make a difference on whether or not that other abnormality gets thrown in here, but we're just going to keep maxing that out. And there we go. So we will end on Meltdown 6 because I don't have the patience right now. Thankfully, X's Temperance did go up to 5. I did actually do a little bit of Temperance, or a lot of Temperance work, actually. I thought I was doing justice this whole time. And yeah, it looks like Buttercup is right back up to her old self. I just need to get that HP bar up. Alright, cool. We'll take it. I should have... Fuck. I realized there was a thing I wanted to do last round, and we're going to try it in the next day, is uh, there actually is a pretty easy way for me to be able to get those uh, ego gifts from the Firebird. Uh, forest full of hearts. 76 or 32. We're going to pick this one. Skip all this dialogue. And we're going to place that bitch in here this time. So what I was saying was we're going to just throw the rabbit team into training right after uh, the damn thing escapes. I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't do anything other than that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have one person go in there, quarantine the whole wing. And then once they get out, they're going to back the fuck up and then I'm going to lock it all down. I don't see how the uh, rabbit team would fail against that thing, so I think it'll be a pretty solid defense, but we shall see. Also, you definitely are capable of so much more now. So who do I have for fives? 
I am a Temperance 5. I can wear stuff. I can definitely wear new stuff. I'm not a Prudence 5, that's for damn sure, but I am a Temperance 5. So I can actually wear the smile, which is good. Is there anybody else that is a Temperance 5 that would be more battle-oriented? Um, I guess Instinct. Do not look at blank. Made lots of employees employees curious. His stats aren't proper. That's what the problem is. Yeah, he doesn't have the proper stats to deal with it. <clears throat> There we go. Okay, everybody back in here. We're not going to send X into that room anymore. Something about your stats just are not right. And if the whole idea is not to look at it, then I guess... Repression? I literally don't understand this thing at all. So, repression didn't do anything, instinct didn't do anything, and insight. All, all the same thing, though, like... Hmm. So it's not lower stats. And attachment doesn't do any... Yeah, fuck this. Internet Explorer, here we go. Of course, I use Chrome, not Internet Explorer, but... Oh, that's all it takes? Really? How the hell would anybody figure that out? I'm glad I looked that one up. Nobody would have ever figured that one out, so... For anybody who is fucking unaware of what was going on there... Literally, it, it, it is entirely based off of whether or not it is on screen. That's stupid. I would like to read the thing on the top of it, though, so... Okay. That is one of the dumbest things that I have ever fucking seen. <laughs> like, like that is that is really dumb. So instinct is awful. We did insight work with it. Insight worked, but it wasn't super great. So I guess repression is next. Repression seems to be doing a decent job, then. <laughs> yeah, Alright, well, that was a better work. Yeah, repression's the best work then. So, I guess we continue to work on repression, which is fine. That was one of the things I wanted to increase with X anyway, so we'll do that. Now, the most important goal of today, honestly, is to get a pendant on Buttercup. I want to make sure that I get a pendant every single day, because there's just so many of these fucking things that I always want to hand out to people, and they're just really good items.
You guys are welcome to agree and or disagree on their, uh, their utility on me grossly exaggerating them, but they seem to be one of the best ego gifts in the game for just idle regeneration, especially during fights. It just makes it so that you don't really need to worry about that character and you can walk away, even if it's just a minimal amount of damage. I like being able to send one character after a weaker target and then just forget about them because I know that they actually have faster regen than the damage that the enemy can dish out. And there we go, now we finally have a pendant. So one final insight work and we will wrap up the day right here. And then I'm going to take a short break from recording and then wrap up those last three days. It's been quite successful thus far. I still need a lot more uh, stat ups on my employees. I want about, I think in our last run when we had gone through, I think it was nine on Atzillith floor. We had, or eight on Atzillith floor, eight or nine. We had 10 employees on Briya, and then another nine up top. Another nine or eight. So at a bare minimum, we had 26 employees to a maximum of 28, so I want to try to have about 30 by the time we hit that point with plenty of lobotomy points. So congratulations, Buttercup, you are now, like, swoller than my sister, and that says a damn thing, so. We still don't have a Justice level 5, though, on me, which is a little upsetting, but the Fortitude 5 was the goal. And then we have Justice 5 on X. He doesn't have Fortitude 5, though. So we can actually give him Justitia. I think Ricky's going to be the next character that we work on, as well as Heather. Because we need some people to wear this Aleph gear. And then starting in the next day, we're going to try to get the uh, all the good stuff. Uh, not the good stuff, sorry. The, the fiery bird stuff. See... I've been told the train is a pain in the ass, and I think I'm going to skip it for now. I kind of want to Google it, not going to lie. I kind of want to look it up rather than figure it out myself. And then I know what this thing is because I think it's the heart. Hmm. I know we still need to get that one up anyway, but... No, we don't, actually. I think that's a four. Oh, man, decisions. This is actually a really big decision for me right now, but we're actually going to reinstract because I need a certain... Uh... I think that's the one. I think that's... I think that's the thing I need. Oh shit, did that not get placed into the facility yet? Fuck. I know we have space, but I think technically because I didn't put the point on the left side, I don't think we got it. Yeah, fuck off. I think we can change everything, or anything, is the uh, Iron Maiden of which I speak. You need to get the fuck out of there right now. Okay. It is now locked in. How? It fucking escaped? That's horse shit. How is that even a thing that it can do? I thought that enemies were locked into the fucking containment rooms when that shit happened. That's fair. Alrighty. Well, that's fun. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that an awful fucking lot. 
I might wind up needing to just build a bunch of characters that can survive the goddamn bird and just take it out the old fucking fashioned way, I guess. That's annoying, dude. I thought the entire point of the rabbit team was that it locks abnormalities inside of the wing that it's in, but this is the second time now that I've used rabbit team in the last month or so where it just doesn't lock abnormalities in the goddamn room, and I don't know why that is. I thought that was kind of a no if ands, or buts situation, but go figure, here we are. Okay, so I just got done actually reading about the abnormality on the page, and while it does say specifically a note with the rabbit team, and its charge attack being a little wonky, it doesn't say that it can leave the department in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't say it anywhere in that that it should be able to leave, so I guess fuck me, then. So the problem that it's saying is that because of the nature of the charge attack where it's supposed to reach the walls, it usually teleports to another area in the department. Therefore, when it teleports, it just continues the charge rather than hitting a wall. Yeah, you fucking stay in there, motherfucker. Okay, everybody is out. Let's try this one one more goddamn time. I don't know why that didn't work the first time. Let's see if it works this time. Well, it's still in the damn department, so that's good. See how long that sits that way, though. Good. Fucking A. Then it explodes, then it goes back into its fucking area. Now, we have the damned Ego weapon. One of. Doesn't show you what it is, but... Alright, cool. Well, that actually worked this time. I'm fucking shocked. Alright. Don't know why that worked out the way that it did before, but it did. Now I need to find out who I'm working on today. I know Ricky is definitely one of the main characters that we want to work on, and I want to get more pendants, so... Ricky has his pendants, he needs... Well, he has justice. He needs health, and he needs sanity. There we go, day 18 complete. So let's see what our stats are looking at. Of course, naturally, Chelsea's fortitude is even fucking higher than before. She just needs that prudence to go up. Ugh. Aside from that... <clears throat> Uh, looks like we're in a good spot for Ricky's uh, prudence finally, so there we go. Cool X has a substantial buff to his fortitude, which is good, and over 100 justice with Kitten. Perfect. So the days are now starting to last longer, that's for damn sure, but I'm also waiting a lot longer than I need to. Ricky is now finally a level 5 employee, which is very, very good. He also... Has a justice five, yes. Good. Good. And this requires temperance five, which he definitely does not have. So we can give him prudence armor, or we can give him his old justicia set, which is what I planned on doing from the get-go. So there we go. X is pretty much armed up to the tits the same exact way. Uh, what other level five employees do we have, if any? None. All right, cool. So Kitten is there. We can set her up with... Uh, she's going to need Temperance and Prudence. Five to do anything there, but... <clears throat> what is my Temperance right now? I'm a five, so if I just get my SP up a little bit, then I can actually start wearing other things. So really, I just need to get my Prudence up, which I think I'm going to do on this run right here. So I'm going to do the smart and swap people around like I should have before, so... X... I don't know what I want to give you, if anything. But we do need to get your SP up too, but that's not going to be a today thing. Kit needs to be worked on, for sure. So I'll work on me. Uh, Cam, we can definitely work on next too, so... Uh, Fortitude, I believe, would probably be the best bet. 
But he also has a pendant, so we need to figure out who we're throwing in the pendant room. We can throw Kitten in the pendant room, okay. So I'll work with Schadenfreude. He can work on his fortitude over here. And then his insight after doing a couple of works there. And then the last person that we're working on is Kitten, who will go up here. And boom goes the dynamite. That worked out extraordinarily well and in my favor right there. He did not hit level 4 employee though, and neither did Kitten. She got almost no fortitude buffs from that. I was hoping for at least a prudence 5, but goddamn that didn't happen. Alrighty, well, I'm a Prudence 5 now, though, so that's good. Alrighty, so let's continue on with this last day before I cut the recording. What is the best... See, this thing is going to save our lives right here. We're going to wind up... Well, it's not going to save any lives. It's actually going to sacrifice lives, but it'll give us a shitload of PE boxes when we throw people in there, which is what my plan is for the last five days to get through everything. I'm going to wind up sacrificing some people with uh, really good red resistance stuff. So we know Schadenfreude is for justice, but aside from that, yeah, I could level up my justice a little bit over there. But the idea is to get Heather's fortitude up like crazy. So her best bets, uh, actually, who needs a pendant? Pretty much everybody. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Today is uh, your lucky day, Eric. We're gonna work on your... Uh, fuck it. Temperance. Why not? Alright, that is the one. I'm just gonna send Chelsea into the nearest safe room she can get into. I'm gonna slow that fiery bird. There we go. And now we hope for the goddamn best. You fucking teleported out of containment again. What the fuck, dude? Why is this a thing? Seriously, why is this a thing? I don't even understand. I'm so fucking confused, man. I'm so fucking confused how that is a thing, still. Okay, that is everybody that is sporting a lift level gear. Let's hope for the best. I probably should have moved everybody. Fucking aim. <clears throat> Honestly, the sanity damage is the bigger problem here. Weirdly. But I think we got it. I don't know if that actually does damage when it explodes, but... I am not willing to find out. I see that. Alright, day of work complete. There we go, Fortitude 5 Heather and Prudence 4 Heather. Excellent. That is exactly what I was aiming at. That's perfect. Unfortunately, though, that still means she only has 70 health. Well, actually, no, um, because she had, like, 80 health, I think, minus 20. 
Because I think she was at 60 health exactly before. So if she got 19 extra health, then yeah, she's at like 80 health. That's good. Uh, we did get a temperance upgrade for Eric. You are sitting at exactly 69 temperance, my friend. Godspeed. And you have a maximized HP bar now. So we just need to get that prudence up, essentially, and then we're pretty much good to go on your character to be able to wield Twilight again. Twillies! Twillies, indeed. Now it is abnormality selection time. Rudalta, Snow Queen, and the Happy Teddy Bear. Mm, Snow Queen's easiest. Well, it is the easiest, but I'm going to re-extract anyway. Durbro, we got Rudalta, and then number 47. You've been pressing it for numerous times, and you still have something you want to know about it. And there's another one that we have a selection for. Red Shoes, Void Dream, or Spider Bud. Or re-extract. Exactly. Now you're thinking. Alright, well, Happy Teddy Bear, Singing Machine, and Forsaken Murderer. Forsaken Murderer is easy. It is easy. And we can't really use Singing Machine anyway, so that'd just be a pain in the butt. So, I guess Forsaken Murderer. Mm -hmm. That's the least like Because everything that. else is a pain in the ass to level up off of. Game froze. Game why? There we go. Now the question is, is Heather actually a Fortitude 5? Or does the minus 20 ruin that? Because if she's actually a Fortitude 5, that means I am 100% putting Mimicry on her. God damn it. No, she's not. She's very close, though. And then just that prudence goes up a little bit further, and then we can put on pinks again. And then who the hell else did I work on? Eric. Yeah, it was just Eric and Heather. That was it. Leif so. Erickson? Leif Erickson, yes. But on that point, uh, yeah. I will see you guys in the next part where we will continue through uh, Central Command, the first half of it, that is. And, uh, yeah. Take care. Actually, no, the whole thing goes through on that first. Yeah, whatever. Fucking ignore me.